हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज चेतन वाधड़िया एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू एमसीक्यूज ऑफ चैप्टर नंबर टू पॉलिनोमियल्स क्लास टेंथ फ्रॉम एनसीईआरटी एग्जाम्पलर एवरी ईयर फ्रॉम एग्जाम्पलर मेनी एमसीक्यूज आर कमिंग सो लेट अस सॉल्व दैट गाइस लेट अस स्टार्ट विद क्वेश्चन नंबर वन इफ वन ऑफ द जीरोज ऑफ द क्वाड्रेटिक पॉलिनोमियल k माइनस वन इंटू एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस के एक्स प्लस वन इज माइनस थ्री देन द वैल्यू ऑफ k इज सो हियर वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू ऑफ k एंड वन ऑफ द जीरो इज गिवन सो डायरेक्टली वी आर गोइंग टू कीप द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस माइनस थ्री इज जीरो सो दैट इज वैल्यू ऑफ x वी आर गोइंग टू कीप माइनस थ्री ऑन द प्लेस ऑफ x एंड वी आर गोइंग टू फाइंड आउट द आंसर सो लेट अस स्टार्ट गाइज आंसर नंबर वन सो डायरेक्टली k माइनस वन इंटू माइनस थ्री स्क्वायर डायरेक्टली आई एम कीपिंग द वैल्यू ऑफ x एज माइनस थ्री प्लस k इंटू माइनस थ्री प्लस वन सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग मच टाइम लेट अस स्टार्ट गाइज माइनस थ्री स्क्वायर विल बी नाइन नाइन पॉजिटिव नाइन नाइन इंटू के नाइन के नाइन इंटू माइनस वन माइनस नाइन माइनस थ्री के प्लस वन इक्वल्स टू जीरो वी विल गेट वाई बिकॉज दिस इज जीरो सो इक्वल टू जीरो नाइन के माइनस थ्री के विल गिव यू सिक्स के माइनस नाइन प्लस वन विल गिव यू माइनस एट इक्वल्स टू जीरो टेक दिस दैट नेगेटिव एट ऑन दैट साइड सो दैट विल बिकम पॉजिटिव एट एंड योर वैल्यू के विल बी इक्वल्स टू एट बाई सिक्स दैट इज फोर बाई थ्री एंड यू कैन सी हियर इन ऑप्शन फोर बाई थ्री is already given to us so we have solved that moving towards question number 2 guys a quadratic polynomial whose zeros are this so we are having one formula for that for forming a quadratic polynomial from zeros we are having this formula x square minus generally students are making here they keep plus sign please keep this sign negative x square minus alpha plus beta sum of zeros into x Plus alpha into beta is equals to zeros. Now keep the values directly, guys. X square minus alpha plus beta. So our alpha, one of the zeros is minus three and plus four into x plus minus three into four equals to zero. So you will get x square. This minus three plus four, uh, that is positive one. So positive one into minus. So minus one minus one into x will give you minus x, and this is minus twelve. So he, this type of equation you are going to get. Let us check whether it is here or not. Directly you can see you don't have any. Both these signs are negative, and here here you are having that. If I divide this all by two, so what will happen? X square min by two minus x by two. and this will get cancel and 6 so you can see first you need to form a equation a quadratic polynomial and then you need to check so here you can see this two signs were matching so i tried to divide all this 3 by 2 because in denominator we, they had given us 2 so and we got the answer so c is the correct answer guys okay moving towards the next one let us solve question number 3 guys if the zeros of the quadratic polynomial x square plus A plus one into x plus b r. So these are the two zeros that they had already given to us, and they told us to find out the values of a and b. A and b because they in option they had given a and b. So we need to find out answer number three. So how we can do that? First of all, we are going to put two on the place of x because these two are zero, so one by one. If x equals to first, we are going to keep x equal to two. Let us see x square plus a plus one into x plus b. This is our equation, so I am going to keep uh, x equals to two, and one more is there, so I am directly writing here because okay. Now you can see it properly. So now instead of x, two square plus a plus one into two. Plus b equals to zero, so four, and this two will get multiply with both this two a plus two plus b equals to zero. 
सो हियर टू ए दिस बी एंड दिस प्लस सिक्स इक्वल्स टू जीरो हियर वन इक्वेशन और यू कैन राइट डाउन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू राइट डाउन यू कैन राइट डाउन टू ए प्लस सिक्स इक्वल्स टू टेक दिस प्लस सिक्स ऑन दैट साइड एंड दैट विल बी माइनस सिक्स टेक इट एस रिजल्ट नंबर वन सेम वे यू विल गेट वन इक्वेशन वेन यू विल कीप एक्स इक्वल्स टू माइनस थ्री लेट एस कीप ऑन द प्लेस ऑफ एक्स माइनस थ्री स्क्वेर प्लस ए प्लस वन इन टू माइनस थ्री प्लस बी इक्वल्स टू जीरो नाउ यर माइनस थ्री स्क्वायर विल गिव यू पॉजिटिव नाइन माइनस थ्री इंटू ए माइनस थ्री ए माइनस थ्री इंटू प्लस वन माइनस थ्री प्लस बी इक्वल्स टू जीरो सो यू विल गेट माइनस थ्री ए प्लस बी एंड नाइन माइनस थ्री पॉजिटिव सिक्स Equals to zero. Take this on that side. Three a plus b is equals to negative six. So again, equation number two. Now what you need to do? Now you need to do elimination substitution. So let let us do that also. Two a plus b equals to minus six. I am going to add this two. Mm, both are positive. Okay. So both these are positive. So I am going to subtract this. Now, if I will subtract for subtraction, all sign will change. When you are doing subtraction, all sign will get changed. So here, five a, this will get cancelled. Minus six plus six will be zero. So a will be equals to zero. Now keep a zero, b equals to minus six. In in this, if you will keep a zero, so two into zero, zero, b will be equals to minus six. Directly you can say, let us check whether a Zero and b minus six is there. Yes, already give one here. D is the correct answer, guys. So this way we can solve this type of question. Given that one of the zeros of a cubic polynomial, one of the zeros of a cubic polynomial is zero, then the product of the other two zeros is. Uh, very simple question. Just you need to understand. Uh, cubic. I think this they had removed this year, so we are not going to solve question number five also and question number six also. Why both these questions belong to cubic polynomial, and this year they had removed that cubic polynomial. So why to solve that? Right now we are going to move towards question number seven. The zeros of a quadratic polynomial x square plus ninety nine x plus one twenty seven i. Guys, actually, what I have observed, I have observed that many, uh, many big big uh, institute or big companies make or uh, running their YouTube channel are solving this question and finding whether you will get positive or negative. I am going to give you the best method and the shortest method directly from the question itself. You can predict that you will get both positive, both negative, one positive, one negative, or both equal. How? Let me show you. Suppose, suppose you are having one quadratic polynomial like this, where both these signs are positive. If both these signs means signs with B sign with C, if both these signs are positive, your both the zeros will be negative. This is zeros, and this is sign with B and C. If both these are positive, your zeros, both the zeros will be negative. Please keep this in mind, guys. If one side, or uh, sign with B is negative and sign with C is positive. If this sign negative and sign with C is positive, then you will get both the zeros positive, and your both the zeros will be positive. Suppose if your B is positive and your C is Negative. Then any one positive, one negative, and if both these terms are negative, then one positive, one negative. Again one positive, one negative. So please keep this in mind. If C positive, then either both will be positive or negative. But you need to check. If both these are positive, your both the zeros will be negative. If C positive, B negative. Directly, both the zeros will be positive, 
and if this two are negative you can see if c are negative directly you can say one positive one negative so please keep this pattern in mind and no need of solving this type of bigger uh, you can say quadratic polynomial for this type of questions directly you can predict guys moving towards question number eight the zeros of the quadratic polynomial x square plus kx plus k where k not equals to zero so here here again what i explain you in the previous question that you going to help you here both here actually they said k here with x means b is having a positive term the same term is in c but we don't care for that we just need to see the sign here sign with b and sign with c is positive so as i told you your both zeros will be negative when both the signs are positive your both the zeros will be negative so now what you need to check if both these terms are same they said zeros zeros will be equal if both these terms are same no they are not equal they are always equal no this condition always equal or always unequal is uh, not simplified because 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 you need to understand that it can sometimes if both these are um, same sometimes you will get uh, unequal also sometimes you will get equal also so always term is used so it is not possible now as i said both the terms will be negative so here say cannot both be negative cannot cannot if they had written both terms will be negative then we have we have selected b as the answer but here we need to see that cannot both be positive means both the zeros will not be positive yes in this condition satisfied that zeros will not be positive means the zeros will be negative so here a is the correct answer please keep this in mind guys here they try to trick the question so please keep that in mind okay moving towards question number nine if the zeros of the quadratic polynomial ax square plus bx plus c where c not equal to zero are equal means here they are telling the zeros are equal mm, so we have to take condition at that time they are telling if the zeros are equal c and a have positive sign c and b have opposite sign sorry opposite signs opposite sign c and a have the same sign c and b have the same sign so here first we need to suppose and try out suppose for suppose alpha equals to 2 both the zeros are equal so b, beta will be also equals to 2 now we need to form a quadratic out of this with the formula x square minus alpha plus beta into x plus alpha into beta is equals to 0 so x square minus 2 plus 2 4 x plus 2 into 2 4 so you are getting a equation x square minus 4x plus 4 equals to 0. Now suppose next time we need to suppose alpha is equals to minus 2 one time positive we had suppose. Now one time we have supposed negative. Okay. Now x square minus alpha plus beta into x plus alpha into beta is equals to 0. So x square minus alpha plus minus 2 plus minus 2 you will get minus 4 into x and multiply plus minus 2 into minus 2 will give you plus 4 so x square plus 4x plus 4 is equal to 0 now in both this condition you can see this was also positive this was also positive here negative here positive this was also positive so you can see if you are going to keep any same terms any positive or any negative term same equal they said the term zeros are equal so what will happen this will change but this sign are going to remain the same both positive both positive so here you can say c and a have this condition so c and a will be having due sign okay guys moving towards the next question if one of the zeros of the quadratic polynomial of the form x square plus ax plus b is the negative of the other then it means one of the zero is negative one of the zero of the quadratic is negative of the other hence if one is uh, p the other will be beta will be minus p so let us solve answer number 10 guys let me keep this little bit in the upper side so that will help us 
ओके नाउ आंसर नंबर टेन If one of the zeros of the quadratic polynomial, so this is your quadratic polynomial, and they said one, suppose alpha is p, and beta is minus p. Okay, now we know that alpha plus beta is equals to minus b by a. Don't suppose the here on the place of b a is there, and on the place of c b is there. So don't get confused with this. This is the perfect standard form. I am going to keep the values alpha p plus minus p beta minus p equals to minus what is our b here a upon what is a that is one so here you will get p and minus p zero is equals to minus a by one take this one here one into zero one minus a one so therefore a is also one or you can say negative one. Hmm. A your A will be. You can say A will be minus one. A minus one. Now, alpha into beta. I think I think. Oh, sorry, sorry. If zero into one is zero only. So your A will be zero only. Sorry, A is zero. My mistake. Now alpha into beta that is equals to C by A. So your P into minus P equals to C means B. And a that is one, so minus p square is equals to b. So here you can see positive, negative. You can take this on that side. So p square will be minus b. This term, this term, will be negative, and this is zero. Now they are telling a zero means the middle term here zero, and here negative. Here you will get instead of this. You will get uh, zero a on the place of a zero, and here b will give you minus p square. P equals to minus p square. So your uh, quadratic will be x square minus p square. Middle number is zero. So here has no linear term, and the constant term is negative. Means linear term term means the middle term. No linear term means no middle term, and the constant. This is the constant. Constant will be negative. You can see constant b is Minus, so this constant will be negative and no linear. So this is the answer. Answer number A: No linear term and constant term is negative. Okay, moving towards the last one, guys. This is very simple. You just need to uh, which of the following is not the graph of a quadratic polynomial? You can see parabola, parabola. Two more are there. Here also parabola, but here three times it is intersect. So this is not quadratic, guys. Okay, if it is intersecting the x-axis at two places or not intersecting also, then also you can say uh, in getting parabola you can say quadratic. But here it is intersecting at three places, so this is not quadratic and this is cubic polynomial. Here you will get three zeros, so this is not possible, guys. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you like it. Please subscribe to my channel, guys. Thank you so much. All the students of India, USA, Canada, UK, Australia, and other countries can join me for more videos.